So just about two weeks ago, President Trump signed an executive order that allowed you to defer certain payroll taxes and put more money in your bank account each week. We're going to talk that a little bit more in today's video. Hi, my name is Chris Passmore and I'm with CPA Corner. Well, about two weeks ago, President Trump signed an executive order to provide additional relief to all of us during the COVID-19 pandemic. And one's particularly important because it affects you as a U.S. taxpayer. And it allows you to defer, defer your specific portion of Social Security payroll taxes. In the past, under the CARES Act, companies or businesses were allowed to defer their portion of payroll taxes. But now, so can you. So what's the amount? It is the Social Security amount. It equals to 6.2%. That's the current amount that's being withheld from your paycheck. And so under the new executive order, President Trump has ordered the U.S. Department of Treasury to allow a grace period for that 6.2% for any amounts from September 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. So I know that might be a hard to digest. What amount does it mean for me? It's up to an amount of $4,000 per biweekly pay period. And as an example, the maximum amount that would be eligible to defer these payroll taxes for you would be approximately $104,000 per year. So how much would that be? Uh, it's roughly calculating out to about $2,200 that you could save between September 1st and December 31st, 2020. Or let's cut that in half. Let's say you make about $52,000 a year. That means you could save and have an extra $1,100 over the four month period from September to December 2020. There's an important point here that you need to be aware of. This is not a forgiven amount as of right now. President Trump has ordered to explore the forgiveness of this amount, but right now there is not partisan support. So this is tricky. This is an amount that may be deferred until next year but then you still have to pay that money back. It's just a grace period. And candidly, if you need that money now to get through hard times, maybe you're a restaurant worker and your restaurant's not open and you need to supplement your income now, this is money in your pocket today, but it is only a grace period as of right now. That means possibly in January 2020, sorry, January 2021, you would have to repay that entire amount. So right now, from a business point, point, point of view, it's been not a ton of guidance out, so we don't have a clear instruction on what to do. For example, is this deferral of taxes mandatory? Is this deferral of tax, taxes optional? What happens if an employee leaves a company during the period from September to December? Is that the responsibility of the employee who's left? Or is that the responsibility of the company and also, how do companies put processes in place so that they can allow employees to defer this amount from September to December? So there's a lot of unknown unknowns right now. There's not a lot of clear guidance. We're all hoping for more in the coming weeks so we can all transact this amount so that you can make an educated decision on whether you want to defer this amount, whether you have the option to forego it, and just go ahead and pay that amount like you normally would. So stay tuned in the coming weeks for additional guidance on this. I do think this one is particularly important because it is not a forgiveness. It is a grace period, which means it could be due one day. Well, I've enjoyed speaking to you today, and I look forward to speaking with you in my next video.